All right, good morning, Beer Channel. And yes, it's very early in the morning here. It's about 7.15 in the morning, 7.15 a.m. The reason we're up that early is I need to show you guys just how to fix your underbeard. Yes, just what I use, um, you know, every other day here or so. And how high up I will go on mine and how high up you may want to go on yours or, or how low you want to leave it. That being the case, like, share, subscribe. I will be right back. All right, guys, and I'm back, of course. First thing I like to use, little T-Blade trimmer here, okay? This is a little cheap one I got a couple years ago on Amazon. Works fairly well. I am looking for a new one. Again, I posted that in the previous video. If you know of a good one, please throw it down in the comments. I'll gladly buy it and test it out. All right. Moving forward, a rule of thumb when you're shaving the neck beard. Locate your Adam's apple. Ideally, you want two fingers up, above. Okay? That's where you want to start cutting down. It will be right about here. But for me, since my beard is getting a little bit longer, it's starting to cover, I'm going to go a little bit shorter than that right now. We're going to do about one finger up. So from about here, I'm going to square it off, starting with these T-Relay trimmers. Let's take a look. Okay. All right, now you can see it's a little more pale up here. Step two, we're going to shave a variety of different razors. I also use a T-blade razor or a safety razor, whatever you want to call those things, to edge the lines here. Okay, so when I do that, I will get into that. But today, we've got our trusty old barber saw here. I'm going to foam up a little bit. Get a little foam. I don't need a lot since I'm not doing a big area here. Now I prefer just using downstrokes when doing this because the lower part of your neck can be sensitive. Now you can see a definite line of where I'm leaving, or I'm leaving it here, down here, okay. So that's it, pretty simple, but the rule of thumb is really two fingers up, unless you're growing it down a little longer, uh, like, like I am, I'm gonna get some more girth on it because, you know, I really don't have a long neck. And us guys with shorter necks, it tends to be a little easier to uh, let it grow down here to hide some of this. Now, once it's once your beard's nice and long, then that's up to you if you want to continue to shave your neck. Um, I suggest if you're taller, um, it's more defining if you do have a neckline. When you look around, people you know can see a little bit of your neck, but that's fully up to you. This video, and please so, yeah, um, hit the like button, subscribe, you know. What's it going to hurt? It takes two seconds. And that'll really help me out. I appreciate you stopping by today. There'll be more videos to come. We'll have one later on in a couple of days here. Take a look at all the other shorts that I've done as well. And as always, don't shave your beard.